In today's video, I wanted to test what's better, low or high sense. So I took five players that play on a very low sensitivity versus five players who play on a very high sensitivity. If you guys want to see a console version, be sure to like the video, comment your sensitivity, and join my Discord. Link is down in the description. Also, guys, it's my birthday today, and I just turned 23. I just want to say I thank you guys very much for, you know, supporting me throughout the few, last few years because it means a whole world. So thank you so much, and let's get into it. I'm going to be real, man. I, I asked some of you guys when you guys jumped in the call for your sensitivities. And I question how the hell some of you guys use this. Like we got on the high sense team. We have people that's running 19, 19, 1600 DPI, which is big sync, by the way. And I got to know, man, how the hell do you have a 0.6 win loss? You got a 0.8 KD. I'm not going to lie. It's because that sensitivity is so high. You're about to get slammed by a T1 analyst with a 0.4. Yeah, Emma, I, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, shut up, redhead. This is actually insane. So I have to figure out how to do this because I've been doing a lot of these videos on console recently. If you guys do want to be in a video like this, make sure to join my Discord. Link is down in the description. This shotgun skin is godly. Like, what is this? Holy heck. I don't I don't like the... the com like the... I'm not going to say the commands, just like the buttons on keyboard when you're in the spectator mode. So we have two people not reinforcing. This seems like an average game of ranked at this point. We got monkey trying to be a monkey in spawn peak. Low sense people is going to get a little bit shabby here on the high sense. Looks like Mushi is going to be looking for some feet, just like me for real. Nothing like sucking on some toes. But let's see if anybody even spot over there. Oh yeah, this this sledge or thatcher. I can't, I'm pretty sure it's a sledge. Oh, dude, he's going to be down bad. Oh, I just realized this is the high sense. I'm stupid. Oh, my God. Leave it to the high sense players to be playing this aggressive. So, Sledge got put in a goddamn coffin. What we're seeing here now is just a basic flat take. The Sledge shouldn't really affect their attack here. Not that much, at least. Rafters. They have rotated to rafters. Who's good? One's our window. Last. Uh, there's a kid in stock. Oh, yeah, peeking our window. It's going up. He's outside of stock now, like swamp area. Emma is an analyst, so I bet she watches a lot of Siege. I just have never seen her play Siege, even though her KD goes insane. She's getting wall bay from construction. Who was that? That was Warden. I'm actually very sick of this Warden meta. To be honest. Down in the comments, guys, let me know your sensitivity, by the way. What type of sense are you running? Are you running a, a high or low sense? That's actually just insane. Avocado basically baiting his teammates, and it works out very, very well. Mushy is getting a double kill, and Thatcher's left in a 1v5, taking sight because he sees that the enemies are playing super aggressive and mute C4s and swings to get the easy frag. The high sense players are starting off with a nice little kick, but attacking is always difficult in these type of videos because most of these people don't know who the hell each other are. And uh, we got Joe just saying free, honestly. Anyways, we're seeing a castle pick, which is very default. We're probably just going to see a default game here. Nothing too extraordinary. Mirror is banned, so we're not going to see a mirror play. I'm really hoping that this is a close game and not like one-sided. But we, we do a monkey literally being a monkey spawn peeking and just getting all the cams right away. I feel like I'm watching five Zim players versus controller players at this point. I don't think I've personally ever seen this spawn peek. If he gets a kill off of this, I'm just going to be disappointed in the low sense team, to be honest. Because, like, what what the hell is this? Like, I can't, like there's so many areas where a cam can be, and this is what he's doing. He just impacted the fattest hole in the goddamn world. He's by swamp. Swamp. He's going towards blue window. He's at blue door. Let's go. Uh, blue door, blue door. No. Building new magazine. Yeah, Lance. 
scan, it's on me. I'm gonna go into the bathroom. That was weird, I was in on Oh shit. They don't have hatch open. Oh, yeah, I see. That's okay. I don't know what the solace is, dude. Solace dead. One's right there above me. I'll go highway. He picks off the person short. Good round for the low sense players. Completely different uh, result compared to last round. Smiles really just took that main control and just exploded. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. On console, I'm noticing a lot of people don't even go for this, like, a split take. They just go straight on, run down in the site. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta sneeze. I'm, I apologize for sneezing in your guys' ear. Bellix looks like he's going to be taking a early stock control presence. A little bit concerning that it, there's no drones or anything. Maybe he had a pre-placed. Who the hell knows? He's just kind of dry peeking everything at the moment, which, you know, if it works, it works, I guess. Fuse is there for the refrag, but Fuse needs to be in Kitchen Hatch. Smiles is going to be taking meat, and Nomad looked like she was on Cage Repel. I mean, uh, yeah, and then we also have the Habana on this Repel. I'm not a big fan of this Repel, guys, because you can pick off this person so easy. Monkey is literally the definition of his name. Like, his name fits him very, very well. Thatcher does get lit up by Big Sink. Took off almost 75 HP from him. That is not looking very well. The high sense players do have the man advantage in terms of health, but this game is a one shot headshot game, so that's really all that they need. Smiles does get the first pick over onto the Valkyrie, even though he was super low. That's really good. I don't know what the hell that was, why he just punched that, but it's all good. I guess they saw the dr the thorn, which thorn does pick off the Habana. Monkey is left on 20 HP. He's being droned out, instantly gets refragged. I'm surprised they didn't reinforce the moto hatch, honestly. And that Thunderbird red dot is kind of cursed. What the hell is that? Mushi is going to be holding this angle. He's being very, very patient, hoping that somebody tries to come down blue. This is a very solid angle, but if nobody pushes, then honestly, that sucks. By the way, I'm sorry. I keep pressing my screenshot button for metal. <laughs> There's a bot coming here. What hatch is soft, by the way? I don't know. Right. I, I'm happy. We got a He's watching the blue. Thorn is, I mean, uh, TB's AK. That's Thorn done. Yeah, one was right side of the door. Church door. He's, he I think last door church. Am I sure? Yeah, there. I'm dropping side. Ah, yeah. Here's our triple wall. Here's our triple wall. Triple wall, you said? Alright, uh, cover yeah. me while I plant. Half. 75. Full. One friendly operator remaining. Give me a bomb cast. Do you mind going moto? Oh, fair. Yeah, we're going moto. What are your main stairs? I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. I don't think so. Because Smiles... Oh, Smiles looked away at the last second. And the high sense player does clutch it out. That is quite surprising. 
I did not think he was going to win that just because of the speed of the operator. I I don't really know why Smiles was looking towards blue or like what a dummies because Mushy, he last seen him around church, right? Maybe he thought that he rotated into blue, which I guess is valid and, and whatever, but that was just interesting. Reinforce! Shout out to Emma's mom, by the way, and Emma herself. Um, Emma... <laughs> Emma, what are you... Emma! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, I'm not. You John F. Kennedy. I was gonna say I can open that. You go get hatches, G. No, 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 I'll open, I'll open. Silent, silent. They're getting my moto. It doesn't look like anybody's playing it at the moment. Okay, they did open it up. Ying is just like big ballsing it, so I don't know what the hell that was. We're seeing another flash coming out of dirt or main, I mean, uh, and Maverick drops and another one bites the dust. Ooh, Warden does get picked off playing into blue. That timing is very crappy. We're now seeing a 4v2 for the low sense players. Getting the round that they desperately need. Another Goombine goes off for Fizzle. And, you know, Finier loses almost all of his HP. Gets dropped off onto Mr. Sink, though. Or Big Sink. And I'm oh, shit. God damn, Habana put Cade into the coffin. He doesn't have much time. He looks like he's shaking. His sense literally makes him look like he's a stripper shaking his ass. Reload! I think it's this ball. There's a drone in sight. You gotta get this game. There it is. Five seconds. I'm playing uh, Nash. Um, I'm playing Nash. I'm playing Nash. She went down. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. They're going lodge and hatch now. Got it. I'll go back inside. Got 
bad. Oh, yikes. Oh, there's a drone on hatch. Oh, I couldn't shoot it. They got single wall as well, con single. EMP is going off. I don't. I don't. Yeah, like. It, I don't know. Just really good teamwork on their behalf, surprisingly. Ooh, good shot. Well, my picks off a big sink. So it looks like the low sense players are at the advantage here. They got the first pick, and even though everything's open, everybody's kind of just standing still, waiting to see if they can get a pick. Which I haven't seen a game, on honestly, in any of these series where people play this. Strategic, I want to say. Legendary gets another pick. Good for him. He picks off the sledge. So any soft destruction slash nades is going to be, you know, gone. Fizzle is down now. So we're seeing a 2v5 scenario for the low sense players. That cage shotgun hits super goddamn hard. We are just seeing another pick onto Rook. Rook is fighting his demons this game. Drippy, I feel bad for you, man. Ooh, so Joe does walk in and it looks like he's going to be timing the Cade. Picks off two of them, but he gets instantly picked off? Did he pick off one or two there? I can't even tell. That happens so fast. So this is going to be match point for the low sense players. Henry, we'll make the rotates with your... Alright, uh, can I close this? Uh, someone wanna hit the other one. Yeah, it's second. It's like I'm out. Five seconds left. Dread mine over. What have you got? Do we have a win this? Yes. I have 12 time and 5 minutes. I cannot see. You don't have raptors rotated. Highway and throw a nade. But it looks like Mushy does get picked off over by, I think that was Thorn? Thatcher's going to be trying to walk into an EDD. He lights up Thorn, kills him somehow. What the actual hell? Buck is going to be taking aggressive control into construction. Almost picks off the Capcan, but Capcan takes off his head. Drippy finally gets on the goddamn board. And he almost gets naded from Sink down below. He needs to watch some of my tips and tricks videos for the grenade. Holy shit. This, that high sense is really scary. Ooh, picks off the Cade, though. So we're seeing a 3v3 scenario, but the high sense players... He almost flicked his fucking teammate. The high sense players have no walls open, and they have low HP. So as long as the, the low sense players, they don't do anything stupid. They should have this in the bag. So Yana will be Yana cloaking up red to get someone to swing for any info. And Bandit is there. They need to... The issue of pushing up there is those... uh that barbed wire it doesn't look like anybody's in garage though so they might have actually just taken control and there's no head holes thermite might, might be able to go get the wall if he shoots his cave claw off literally shoot the cave claw off man you can take it he's he's just waiting for somebody to swing they only have 30 seconds though if bandit swings just for oh that timing oh dude that sucks Drippy getting the double kill. We're now seeing a 3v2 scenario. And it looks like the low sense players are going to be winning this game. It's, they're in a very tough position. They're now in a 2v2 somehow. 
Capcan gets dropped. Yana is in sight. They're going to be playing a, probably a C4 from below. Oh, my mama mia. And he gets the pick. So now he's forced to plant. And the low sense players win. Good for them. All right, so, oh, man. They, for some reason, the, the high KD players, they wanted, you know, coastline, I guess. Or I said high KD. Jesus, man. The high sensitivity players want a coastline, which is just like, I guess it makes sense because a lot of high sensitivity players are quite flashy or just silly in general. So I guess this is what we're seeing. Going to be quite interesting game. I'm assuming I'm going to see monkey being a monkey with swan peaks, but uh, the low sensitivity players are going to be on defense first. So it's basically minors versus adults. And it's very weird because like the minors are all on low sensitivities and then the adults are on like these high ass like senses so what we're witnessing is just insanity at this point i never thought i would see the day where old men are running high ass senses and then these these youngins that are like 14 are just running the most awful awfully slow sense all right let's let's i don't know what this man's doing I took off my Garfield charm for this. Where's he going with Montang? Avocado took off my charm. This is why he's going to go 0 and 7. This is a really cool glad skin though. Thorn is just like missing all the shots on this silly little guy. Ooh, Jaeger, don't swing. Oh, good night. Jesus, man. Ooh. Zach is getting a, not a refrag, but he, he does get a one from one on over on Osa. They don't have any default rotates, though, surprisingly. Felix is getting a pick onto Mushy, which is the Grim. So we're left in a 4v3 scenario. Glaz is just still on runes trying to shoot. And it looks like they're going to try to get a C4 from below. And it's now evened up because a dumbass wanted to swing, aka Smiles. I love you, Smiles. So they are trying to go for a C4, which, to be honest, it, I were never mind. I'm gonna shut up. It doesn't matter that they didn't pick off the Monty because they killed the guy that was supporting Monty. Laz is just beating his dick in runes. There's a minute to go, and Montang's fighting his demons. Guess where Glaz is, guys? This is what you get for taking off my charm, bro. Wait, what? Where is he going? He just said no. Okay. Missing him behind the neck. What is happening in all chat, bro? Y'all are crazy. I play him for gun. You're not even on defense yet, monkey. Okay, so nobody will be following up on him. Big Sync does get the first frag onto Legendary. Legendary is not having the best start to this game. Which is all good. Looks like Big Sync will be entering off this man's Donna Cloak. Gridlock will be gridlocking off. Dude, they need to make gridlock a 2-2. Two -two. Woo! Jaeger does get a pick onto Joe. Joe gets sent to the goddamn co uh, coffin. It's crazy that these guys wanted this map. And they're over here getting... They're just losing the gunfights to the, the low sense motherfuckers, bro. Mozzie does light up Finca. Finca is going over to blue bar. She can heal herself. So that's going to be a pretty solid ordeal. Seen a lot of action, man. Not a lot of droning, though. Seems like these guys are just raw dogging. Monkey is trying to get a pick over to Jaeger. Jaeger does pick off another person. Oh my god. Gridlock does get a refrag. Holy shit. Bodies are dropping. And Smiles does get the pick on Big Sink. So now the low sense motherfuckers will be 2 0. Attackers are heading out to the off. Yep. This spawn peak is the worst. Oh, a boss G though. Yeah, this spawn peak like really sucks in my opinion. Okay. So Avocado. Kind of just beating his meat, looking at luggage, seeing if he can find somebody. He sees Warden, lights Warden's kneecaps up. Gets him down to like 65. Legendary gets the first pick over to Sink on Buck. Sink literally needs to go wash himself in the sink because he is... He's just hes just getting one for ones, what it feels like. And he's only three for three at the moment. Lion is kind of just vibing out on the roof. He's one of these types of players that just like sitting on the roof. He's hoping that he gets somebody to rotate, which Warden might actually feed into that. He does see his feet. Zach does get picked off over by the Yana. But Lion is still on the roof. What do you guys, what do you guys think? W or L gameplay? 
oh what the fudge so vigil does get lit up but vigil just needs to land like one shot with that boss g bro usually garfield garfield charms give you powers but like i don't know what i'm seeing here you got a sight you got a sight okay you got a sight you got a sight you got a sight Which is 90. Fuck. Oh, oh, uh, single door, single door. You're in theater. What? You're going in VIP. Softball, I think? Play more. Yeah. Okay, she's pushing up to your softball. Hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her. Nice. Okay, in VIP, in VIP, he's watching the rotator, I believe. Nice. Oh, he went to the rotator, he's a master? I can't ping him. Hey, team. He's crouched. He's just on pink 3 right now. Nice, yeah, down. Nice job. Oh, my. Joe, man. Shut the fuck up, you're bald. <laughs> he, he just called me bald. He literally just called me bald because he lost a 1v1, bro. Ah, bro. Oh my god. All good though. Bro. Miss Frizzle putting some interesting barbed wire placement on all the way down on bottom CV. The reason why that's interesting is because they can easily just punch it if they're like super close and get cover. And you can't really act off your own barbed wire at this point. But we're seeing a bunch of EDDs over for guitar. Looks like he's debating picking one up and putting it back down. Okay. Picking this one back up again. Putting it back down. Okay, cool. Looks like Mushi is going for a spawn peak. Picks off legendary. Jesus, legendary, bro. You, you, you are not playing legendary this game. I gotta stop with these puns. So fucking cheesy. Did they stick the Cali? They did. Okay. Smile's got the Ice Cold R6 charm, so he should frag off because Ice Cold is uh, the best pro player ever to exist. Orcs dashes by, which for some reason, Orcs' animation of him dashing just looks so stupid to me, bro. We're seeing a very good start to the round for the high sensitivity players. Orcs only took like 45 HP. These guys are playing super aggressive. Uh, where's the other mirror? Did they place both of them? Okay, so we have one on the single. <sighs> well, I apologize for that yawn. I yawned very big. That's very ballsy. Jesus, man. He's hoping to get a stem from Frizzle, but Frizzle does get lit up from the from the Great Kali. And it looks like he will not be dock stemming the Oryx. Ping, and they're pinging sm the, the Mozzie down below. I, I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out who they picked off. They killed off the Zofia. Ooh, he almost does kill the mozzie that was down in blue bar trying to God, this man got the craziest trigger finger god damn i would not want to be his future wife cali will be droning out sunrise we're seeing a 2v5 for the high sense players these guys are not making it inside the building yet jesus not very poggers cali gameplay this is a very awkward angle i hate taking this type of attack but he does let mozzie just unload his entire goddamn mag and frag him off Smiles does get picked off, so now we're seeing... Oh, that timing. Timing, timing, timing. And I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's quite idiotic, to be honest, that Siege would, would do something like this and make it so, uh, you know, uh, underpicked operator is going to be picked just based on a scope, not utility. Like, I don't, th I don't think of this game like it's Call of Duty. I think of this game like it's, you know, a, a tactical, you know, chess game almost. So, as you can see, like, we got, we got five dumb fucks just running around the map. Never mind. What is this castle strat? Big Sink is is doing something that I have never seen. Maybe he's onto something. Maybe this will work. Maybe he's cooking. Who knows? It's good that they're trying something though. Uh, but it looks like they do have Montang um, on service, which used to be quite common before the rework of Coastline. But they ripped down that double castle. But those footholds being so low. Oh god. I thought that was going to kill him, bro. 
anyway so smiles is just taking as much of the map as possible with this uh window trying to destroy as much utility castle does get picked off big sink is uh, sent to cams once again we're seeing legendary push pool table alone and axe gets instantly picked off and that's the iq gone not much utility gone but that body is going to be uh need it because montang is just sitting in that corner after iq died and i don't think these guys know that he's alone but i don't think it's worth it for them to really try to run at him but if they do run at him and kill him then that's his that's the bomb down legendary does get a pick over to the you know warden pause game or what somehow they let montang push all the way back and we're now just seeing vertical play get played has legendary hacked anything with his cams Solus does get picked off really good initiative from smiles he was able to act off the bucks intel and montang's intel and we're seeing a triple kill over here from smiles he's not protecting montang though and he's looking for the clip and he gets it good 4k so the low sense players absolutely smoked and they played very well smiles took a lot of good initiative there when buck was playing vertical because what happened was the people are going to be scattered and trying to be rotate. They, they don't have time to have their gun up, right? So, uh, yeah, looks like slow sense players are better than high sense. Diamond for what? Damn.